Beer here back at the Fantasy Bar. Six plays for you fresh off the tap on Yahoo for week two, including some chalk from last week that busted that we want to go back to. A big time stack I'm looking at here in week two. A guy that I think is too cheap at the running back position. And of course, my favorite play of the week. Who is it? Billy up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Week two edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack Talking Yahoo. Six guys for you here for their big contests over there, including the $1 million baller contest. The best news, guys. It's only a $10 entry and zero rake on this tournament. You're just not going to find that anywhere outside of Yahoo. So make sure you guys take advantage. We're going to give you some plays to utilize in that tournament. Also, now have single game offerings over on Yahoo. So Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night football, all those one gamers, they are offering contests there as well. Have the Yahoo Cup going on, absolutely free to play, $150,000 in total prizes there. So a ton of good stuff going on over at Yahoo. Guys, make sure you go and check it out. And especially that baller contest, make sure you guys get in that, some potential overlay in that one as well. And how do you beat? No rake, you absolutely can't. Yahoo, doing it big here in week two now as far as housekeeping for us goes make sure you click that thumbs up button also make sure you subscribe to the channel also do a fandle and DraftKings video each and every week so check that out it's basically 12 guys i like across the industry but we're going to highlight some yahoo prices i like here in today's video let's get to it now actually one more thing don't forget scoresandodds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs tons of nuggets in there tons of numbers and analytics Guys, you're going to just love what you see there. Every single game broken down, premium picks as well, and the ability to compare odds across all the different sports books. Go and check it out. Link in the description of the video, scoresandodds.com slash beer. All right, let's get things started here. We're talking chalk that busted last week that we want to go back to, and that's at the tight end position. We're all with Kyle Pitts, just $18. Now, tight end kind of ugly here this week. We don't have Travis Kelsey on this slate here we have darren waller in the high end in a tough matchup coming off a thousand targets here but the guy i really like here is kyle pitts we know he's very popular last week a lot of people excited about kyle pitts coming out of the draft and out of preseason but really let a lot of people down well guess what that's going to lead to a lot of people not wanting to go back to the well here in kyle pitts yo you got to show me something before we're going to rush to you i say nonsense on that we look at this matchup here atlanta huge underdogs here in this game. We know Tampa Bay is going to put up points. What's that going to do? It's going to force Atlanta to throw the ball. And their target tree, pretty thin here. We know the ball is going to go to Calvin Ridley. We know it's going to go to Kyle Pitts. So I like him as a one-off play. Really like him attached to any of your Tampa Bay stacks that you're going to throw out here this week. Tampa also a pass funnel. What does that mean? They are the best team in the league against the run. They are vulnerable against the pass and tight ends. Bottom 10 in fantasy points allowed to this position. So I think this is the breakout spot for Kyle Pitts. I think Matt Ryan's gonna have to throw the ball a ton here. Take advantage, under $20 on Kyle Pitts. Let's stay at that same $18 price here at running back. We're rolling with Chase Edmonds of the Cardinals. Now probably not the $18 running back that you were expecting here. Daryl Henderson at that same price point at Indianapolis. Looks like he may be the most popular running back here on Yahoo. And I don't have a problem with Henderson in your cash games. With tournaments, I like the pivot here to Chase Edmonds. Cardinals, nice home favorites here. We know it's a great spot for our running backs. Nice projected team total at 27 and a half here as well. And I know James Conner gonna mix in here as well, but it was Edmonds who dominated the pass game usage here and dominated the carries as well. Vikings, you look at last week, Joe Mixon, massive game against this team. And they were bottom five against the running back position in 2020. Arizona in a good spot here, Chase Edmonds way too cheap at just $18. All right, speaking of cheap, we're going to give you a minimum price play. That's right, all the way down to $10 at wide receiver with Cedric Wilson of the Cowboys. A lot of people don't want to play a third receiver. I understand that. But when it's an offense like the Dallas Cowboys, it's something that we can take advantage of. Tons of targets, tons of opportunity to go around here. And Wilson's looked good in the limited opportunities he's got. Well, now he's going to step in to the very valuable role. Michael Gallup placed on IR. Cooper and Lamb can't get all the targets here. So Wilson, very, very intriguing here at just $10. We look back to week one, Dak Prescott, 58 pass attempts. We have another massive total here in this game at 55. And the Cowboys underdogs 
in this game. So if it goes to script, I think we're going to see a lot of passing attempts here for Dallas, even in a competitive game and Dallas wins. I think they're going to do it on the arm of Dak Prescott. So again, yes, Lamb, Cooper, fantastic options. But Wilson at just $10. We look back again to week one. Michael Gallup, seven targets before he left that game. Wilson comes in and gets three targets. So let's add them together. Hypothetically, we're talking 10 targets. We're talking $1 per target here. Now I'm expecting 10 targets for Cedric Wilson. I think he realistically gets seven or eight in this game. So we're close, we're in the wheelhouse. Point is, he's cheap in a big time offense, a salary saver here with Cedric Wilson of the Cowboys. So we like Cedric Wilson. That means naturally we're gonna pair him up here with our quarterback play for week two, Dak Prescott. So Dak's sitting at $37, a little bit cheaper than, than a Brady. Some of the other guys on the high end, looks like ownership gonna be pretty minimal here as well. And we talked about the big total in this game, the potential shootout here. And yes, the Chargers, pretty good defense here. Get Darwin James back, no doubt, that is a help. But they did struggle with quarterbacks last season. 11th most fantasy points allowed to this position. Again, Dallas, big time underdog. LA projected for almost 30 points. I think this game shoots out and actually goes over that total if you're betting games here. But Dak showed us the huge upside that he has barely running the ball at all. I think you're gonna to start to see a little bit more of that as he feels more comfortable here. Main point is upside to be the highest scoring quarterback on this slate. Price does not reflect that and ownership does not either love all the combination of all these factors. Dak Prescott, my favorite quarterback here in week two on Yahoo. All right, let's move back to the wide receiver position. Guess what? We're not done with Dallas. That's right, we're gonna double stack here with CD Lamb, $23. Now maybe a little bit of Dallas overkill for some of you guys, but the double stack very underutilized in GPPs across the industry. So we're gonna roll it out here. You can very well mix in Amari Cooper here as well, do a bunch of different lineups, but Wilson helps save you some money in the stack. And Lamb just a little bit too cheap here. And we'll talk about that here in a second. Well, let's talk about the usage in week one, 15 targets in that one. And I don't think that changes here in this matchup. We just talked about how high I am on Dak Prescott here and this offense. I think CeeDee Lamb obviously gonna be a big part of the weekly game plan, week in, week out. And I mentioned the price, $23, 17th highest price wide receiver on Yahoo. Feels way too cheap on CeeDee Lamb. Feels like more of a $30 player. Let's grab the discount here in this game with the Chargers. Love the prospects for CeeDee Lamb this week on Yahoo. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for week two over on Yahoo. But before we get into my favorite play, we're gonna continue our beast of the week contest. How do you play? Very simple. All you have to do is guess fantasy points on Yahoo for my favorite play. The winner is gonna win themselves a free Roto Grinders t-shirt, softest, most comfortable shirt there is. We'll send it to you absolutely free for being the closest guest. So without further ado, let's wrap up week two. My favorite play, you know I'm asked, the beast of the week. All right, beast time. We're going to finish up at the running back position. We're going to spend some money here on Nick Chubb of the Browns. This week's beast of the week. Now you talk about a smash spot here for Nick Chubb and the Cleveland Browns. We have that here against Houston. Big 12 and a half point home favorites. Check stat box. 30 point team total here. The Browns expected to score a ton of points, and I don't see this Houston defense slowing them down. So really checking all the boxes. Last box we want to check the matchup here. And what does Nick Chubb do? This guy grinds out rushing yards. This guy grinds out touchdowns. And we don't have to worry so much about receptions here over on Yahoo. Well, guess what? Nobody in the game gave up more of those rushing yards or rushing touchdowns than Houston in 2020. Second most fantasy points allowed to this position. I know Kareem Hunt gonna mix in. I don't mind Kareem Hunt either at a little bit cheaper price point. Hell, I think you can play them both in the same lineup, but ownership also another box we want to look at here. Looks like it will not be as close to what I thought it was. People worried about the blowout. Look, Nick Chubb can have a massive game, still not play the fourth quarter and still pay this $34 price point out. Or maybe Houston keeps this competitive and we get an even bigger game out of Nick Chubb. Either way, I think he has a massive day here. Take advantage of this ownership. Take advantage of this matchup. Nick Chubb, easily my favorite play for week two and this week's piece of the week. All right, guys, that wraps up here for week two on Yahoo. Remember, fantasy points for Nick Chubb here for your shot at a free Roto Grinders t shirt. Don't forget, go and play in that $10, $1 million baller contest, guys. No rake. Again, you rarely find that here in 2021 in the DFS industry. Go and take advantage of that. The single game contest, the Yahoo Cup, Yahoo doing it big. Go and check them out. 
today. And lastly, mention in the open, scoresandodds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs. Ability to compare odds across different books is invaluable. And if you don't want to do anything, you just want some picks, hey, premium picks from some of your favorite personalities out there, myself included. I'll conclude some of my favorite bets there. Go and check it out, scoresandodds.com slash beer for rotogrinders.com. I am beer saying salut, guys. Best of luck here on Yahoo on week two. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.